Well, hello there, wonderful people of the internet. I have not made a video in two weeks because I've been very busy with very, very interesting things. But, you know, I thought to myself, hey, what kind of spicy video can I make out there on YouTube? And I realized I've never made a reaction video on my channel before. So here's a good... <laughs> here's that. Is this healthy? No, but the show is good. Since we decided to have this surgery... Jesus Christ. Now this show is called Thousand Pound Sisters. I'm not sure if it's called Thousand Pound Sisters because they both weigh 500 pounds or they both weigh a thousand pounds, which would be quite insane. <laughs> That's a small two-door car! Bro, they're so excited for that food, it's like it's a life-changing opportunity. It's like, we've had surgery, but we can't lose weight. I wonder why we're stuffing our faces with them. Whatever the heck that is. Whatever it is, this show is good! But the show is good! <laughs> Every time! Why? 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 You know, this isn't fat shaming or anything, if that's even a thing, if that's even possible, but I always think to myself, how does someone allow themselves to get that big? Because it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Now, I'm not gonna lie. When I was younger, I used to stuff myself like a gigantic... I don't know what I call myself, but I used to stuff myself a lot and eat an entire loaf of bread. And I suddenly realized, hey, this is gonna kill you. You should probably stop. Also, due to her sister... <laughs> her sister's like choking to death right there. She's like, <laughs> every time. What? <laughs> Last time I weighed myself, it was at home on a scale, and it said I was 350. But I think my scale at home was broken. And a bit. <laughs> Are they. Hold on a minute. I'm so confused. Wait a minute. Are they weighing this person with an industrial scale? That looked like a warehouse to me. And she says she broke her scale. I wonder, gee, I wonder why that is. Also, her. The other person can't even walk? Jeez! 605. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really am. I shouldn't be laughing, but I can't take this seriously. <laughs> but look at her face when he. 605 pounds? Yo. Yo. <laughs> This one apart. Amy Elizabeth! <laughs> What's it be? Lena! That was wet! <laughs> <laughs> Julian! <laughs> Dude, I was just, I was just feeling bad for these people, bro. This, bro, the guy in the car, the person driving the car, you can tell that man hates his life. All he can do is laugh. What are you gonna do, bro? She's laid up in the back of the car. She can't even freaking sit up right in the back of the car, bro. That was weird. <laughs> Honestly, too, who am I kidding, to be honest with you? He probably loves the He probably loves the smell of a wet fart in the afternoon. He's like, mm, yes, that's what I like better. I'm gonna go home today and I'm gonna savor the smell. He didn't even roll the window. You know what? He might be enjoying himself too, because he didn't even roll the window down. He's like, mm, yeah, hell yeah, brother. That's what I like. I tell you what. You stink. Generally speaking, the work that I do is connecting people to younger aspects of themselves. What would you? Bro, you have got to be kidding me right now. This lady did not actually go to go see a shrink. Did she go to see a shrink to try and lose weight? <laughs> what? Get people in touch with their younger selves. What the heck is this freaking Elsa looking at? I don't even know what to say about this person. But to be completely honest with you, going to see a shrink isn't going to help anybody lose nothing anyways. That's where I'm going to end the video. Uh, I guess the moral of the story, watch what you eat and don't end up wait, having to go to a warehouse to get weighed by an industrial freaking damn scale or something. That's insane. Till next time, guys. Bye.